Welcome, this is Annuity News Now. Financial advisors who aren't social networking are losing potential customers, especially among the affluent. That's according to a survey of wealthy investors we're reading about in investment news. My guest is the president in, of financial social media, uh, Amy McElwain. Uh, Amy, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again, Scott. I'm guessing you're not surprised by this new information. Uh, I, I, we have read that the older clients, older investors are probably the last ones to embrace social media, uh, wealthy investors now, but now they're all beginning to, to uh, get in there and advisors need to follow suit. Why do you think that these kinds of clients or potential clients are moving into social media? You know, social media has just fundamentally changed the way we communicate. People are wanting information now. They're wanting it fast. And Twitter provides an excellent venue for that. You can find out what is happening right now before it even comes out on the news stations or on television or in blogs. So you're talking about these wealthy, uh, wealthy investors who are looking for the latest financial news. They're, they're looking from, for uh, immediate information from the top uh, financial minds in the country. Or in the world. Absolutely. And Twitter it allows you to follow those top financial minds on Twitter, and you're going to find that information out on Twitter before you're going to find it out anywhere else. Okay. And they're all beginning now to read the financial blogs. They're, 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 they're seeing that as, as where they need to be. So what do advisors who are still kind of sitting on the fence, what do they need to do? Advisors really need to take advantage of this opportunity, have a presence on Twitter, start building yourself as an expert, branding yourself uh, as an expert in your local community, reaching out to these investors, connecting with them, following with them, um, sharing what you're doing and, and any type of advice. Obviously, you have to be careful with compliance concerns, mm -hmm. but share content that's of interest, adds value, and uh, connect with these investors online. Uh, these people, too, also expressed a liking for videos, especially this. Some actually said that they're staying away from anonymous blog uh, postings, and they would like to see things explained to help them understand exactly what is going on. Right now, kind of chaotic in the equity markets, for example, uh, it would probably be especially useful, you know, to have this kind of content and to be involved yourself, right? Absolutely. Videos are the new frontier of social media. They're not even new. I mean, videos have been around for a while, but they are really catching fire, and it is really important for uh, financial advisors to take advantage of, of the video platform as a way to communicate. For mm -hmm. example, um, when the market was in terminal oil, bouncing up and down, advisors were experiencing a lot of calls from their clients, and a simple video broadcast to the social networks could ease a lot of the, uh, the questions and help reassure the investors that you know mm -hmm. everything would be okay. And so as president of financial social media you look at this kind of news what, what do you do with it? What are you doing now? Uh, you know I, we're, we're reaching out to our um, you know our, our client base and we're making them aware of any new changes that are happening in such as this and just reiterating the fact that it is crucial to be a part of social media you know, it's just, again, changing the way we communicate. If you look at email, email only really became popularized in the mid to late 90s for small businesses. Mm -hmm. And imagine where you would be today without email. Mm -hmm. And the social media is coming on again, and it's happening twice as fast. So you can either choose to join the conversation or sit on the sidelines while your competitors take your clients. Amy McElwain is president of Financial Social Media, where you can find uh, them at financialsocialmedia.com. You are uh, always uh, welcome, and thanks for taking the time, Amy. Yeah, thanks again for having me, Scott. Thanks for watching Annuity News Now.